What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video continuing the Toronto Maple Leafs 2020-2021 player previews. Now this one is for basically the heart and soul of this Toronto Maple Leafs team and that's Zach Hyman. Now I know a lot of people will probably be like the heart and soul. This guy, this guy literally gives 100% 100% of the time. Like there is uh, like there's no way to replace a guy like Zach Hyman. There's there's probably a few players in the league that are are similar to him, but for he's just a Toronto guy who plays his heart out for the Toronto Maple Leafs every single game, and and I love the guy. I think he's it's such an important piece of this team. Um, eventually, if he signs a longer term deal with the Leafs, there might be a chance that I get a Zach Hyman jersey. I just think the guy is amazing, and. Uh, Man, with a full season this year, there was a chance that this guy could have touched 30 goals. And I, I just think that he's still a little underrated. And I know he plays in the top six. He plays with a lot of the stars. But he fetches out the pucks and, you know, nobody shoots the puck for him. If, if he's scoring 21 goals, it doesn't matter. He's still the one shooting the puck in the net. So uh, before we get any further than this, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. Join the squad. Love to uh, get to 10,000 subscribers uh, by maybe the end of January or something like that. I don't think it's going to happen by the end of this year, clearly. But um, thank you, guys. Lots of previews coming up. Uh, the upcoming season is uh, hopefully going to happen because I'm recording all these videos. But I also just want to watch the games. And uh, we'll have to see what circumstances it's under. But getting, like I said, into Zach Hyman here. 28 years old. The guy is... A perfect top six type of player to get pucks to the star players while also getting it done himself because like I said he is scoring goals 6'1 211 he's not the biggest guy but he's also not the smallest guy either um, he's he's quick he's tough he does everything right he plays great in both zones like this this is a home run type of player for any team on a cheaper contract and that's we're gonna get into that pretty soon but that man is gonna get a raise and Hopefully the Leafs can afford it because it's going to hurt if this guy goes to another team. Um, and again, let me just say, I'm not talking like this guy's a star player, but damn, he just makes your team better. If he if he goes and plays on a team with, with star players in their top six or even just guys that know how to shoot the puck, he is going to make them better. And, and that's the type of players that you like to have. You like to have a mix of guys like Zach Hyman in the lineup. So um, like I said, looking at his numbers here, the 15-16 season comes in 6 points in 16 games. Then, in 82 games played in the 16-17 season, 28 points in 82 games. Then, he started to become uh, a little bit of a goal scorer. 82 games played, he had 15 goals, 25 assists for 40 points. Uh, and then, the 18-19 season, in 71 games played, he had 21 goals, 20 assists for 41 points. And then, this past season, um, he was injured. And then, of course, the season got cut short. But he had 21 goals and 37 points in 51 games played. Like, in a full 82, I'm, like, 100% this guy scores at least... Like, he's scoring nine more goals and getting 30 goals. Like, I fully believe that. Like, I actually think that, you know, a couple two-goal games, a couple, you know, chipping it in, whatever. He is definitely getting to that 30-goal range and probably touching 50 points. Like, more than likely touching 50 points. And that's insane. And that's insane because, you know what, we're going to look at his cap friendly here because it's wild the way that he plays. So $2.25 million for what he provides is an absolute steal. He's playing great. Um, this is the last year of his contract. And I'm saying this and I'm looking at you. This is the last year of his contract. There are some people saying that you sell high on Zach Hyman right now and trade him. I don't think the Leafs can afford to do that. I think they have to keep him. They have to keep him in the lineup because he just makes players better. And how much of a raise is he going to get? I don't know. But the Leafs, in my opinion, have to figure out a way to hold on to this guy. He is just guaranteed to give you 20 goals and 40 points at this at this point. He really is. He's guaranteed to give you that. So you have to find a way to keep him. So this $2.25 million, like I said, is up. Um, before that, he was playing for uh, 900K uh, cap hit. And these are all his points that we got into earlier. But that cap hit is going to turn into um, at probably at least double. 
Like we're looking at Zach Hyman potentially being in the four and a half to five million dollar range because players are just demanding, you know, bigger money and stuff like that. But I'm hoping the Leafs could get him at a four million dollar contract. And there might be some people thinking that's crazy. But again, if Zach Hyman comes out this year and the Leafs play uh, another 51 games or let's say they play like 55 or 60 games, he's probably giving you 20 goals and 40 points. Like I said, he's he's pretty much guaranteed to give you that maybe 35 points. I don't know, but he's going to give you guaranteed numbers and he's going to give you the physicality. Um, like, l let's look at some of these numbers too. like hits again. Um, let me let me look into this 52 um, hits in 51 games played the season before that in 71 games played he had 102 hits the full 82 in 17 18 117 hits the full 82 in 16 17 109 hits like he just he does a bit of everything he takes shots um, you know sometimes he'll take some penalties but he he does everything right he's just an all-around good hockey player and you know since he came to the Leafs there was a lot of people confused as to why, and, and again, I don't like a lot of Babcock's decisions, but there was a lot of people confused as to why he was playing in the top six, why he was getting minutes and looks with, you know, Nylander and Matthews. But then that line turned into a juggernaut because you had Matthews who could do everything. You had Nylander, who was a really good offensive style of player, really good skater. And then you had Zach Hyman who can get you the puck and chip in goals, be out front, you know, be a pest, he does a little bit of everything. Like he is such a good hockey player, and I think that a lot of people underrate the fact that that he can score and he can do a lot of things. And this is something that the Leafs will really like greatly miss if somehow they're not able to hold on to him past this season. I'm really hoping that they find a way to make a contract work. Uh, I think it would involve them having to trade out uh, probably a guy uh, like Engvall. Um, or putting that money, basically just putting that money towards him. Uh, you would have to see their blue line uh, have those youngsters called up and ready to go. Like if you have next year Rasmus Sandin and Timothy Liljegren on that blue line, there'll be cheaper contracts. If you have a guy like Nick Robertson make it into the lineup and push out another contract, he'll be a little cheaper and, and still provide you good offense because I think Robertson's going to be a 20 or 25 goal scorer. But you have to find the money to keep Zach Hyman. You really do. Um, you know, the Freddie Anderson situation will be really interesting too if they can find a cheaper goaltender uh, that can play still at the same level uh, as Freddie Anderson, then you'll have that money as well. But it, it, it needs to be found for Zach Hyman, in my opinion. It's just a guy that you can't really replace. He makes sense. Like I said, he's a Toronto guy. He just plays his heart out for this team every single game that he's in. Like I said, 100%. 100% of the time. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm pretty sure nobody hates Zach Hyman unless you're on another, you know, another team and you just don't like the guy. But um, let me know down below what you guys think of Zach Hyman. What's he going to do this year? Um, how many points is he going to get? Uh, they're obviously not going to be playing a full 82. If they were, I would say he's going to score 30 goals, um, but they're not going to. So uh, I think he'll score 20 goals this year, maybe 22. I'll, I'll say 22. Uh, we'll come back and look in the comments uh, and see who has got the best predictions at the end of the year. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. Go Leafs go. And uh, hopefully you guys will stick around for more of these player previews. Uh, or this could be the last one you're watching. I don't know. But thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.